ओके इन टूडेज क्लास लेट अस डिस्कस अबाउट द वेरिएबल्स इन जावा स्क्रिप्ट ओके इन द प्रीवियस क्लासेस आई टोल्ड यू दैट वेरिएबल्स आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन एनी प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज इट मे बी सी सी प्लस प्लस जावा पाइथान जावा स्क्रिप्ट वेर एवर एनी लैंग्वेज वेरिएबल्स आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ओके वेरिएबल्स एज आई टोल यू दै दे आर द नेम्स केप्ट फॉर मेमरी लोकेशंस कंप्यूटर मेमरी लोकेशंस द कंप्यूटर मेमरी लोकेशन जनरली हैविंग नंबर टाइप सपोज अजूम मेमरी लोकेशन थाउजेंड ओके सपोज इफ इन सपोज ए मेमरी लोकेशन इन कंप्यूटर assume that starts at 1000 so next memory location will be 1001 next memory location will be 1002 so whenever if you want to store any data in this memory location so see 1000 memory location stored with 4 1001 memory location stored with a decimal number 19.5 1002 memory location stored with a string okay so what happened whenever i want to call back whenever i want to call that data i want to use that data from the memory location i can't call the number memory locations the memory locations which are having numbers okay i can't call them so there is a way to keep names for memory locations okay see like what you know suppose 1000 memory location can be called as x okay and 1000 location can be called as any name any name you keep and 1002 memory location can be called as somewhat any name your name any name uh suppose name okay name is equal to us so now what happened 1000 normally in computer so many memory locations are there crores and crore memory locations are there that moment what happened so it is very difficult for me as a programmer to store the data in that memory location okay whenever i store a data that will be automatically stored in computer memory location by generating a variables variables are what they are the names kept for memory locations so every memory location will be named called with a name what happen you know name x y name these are names kept for memory locations called variables so it is very to call the data whenever i need okay so simply we can say that variables are names of memory locations okay and they can be called we can call the data stored in that memory locations by calling the variable names here x y name they are called variables understood that so without keeping any names to memory locations it is very difficult to call the data so in javascript so let us try to understand the variables so in in javascript what what happened there are uh, four ways to create the variables one is that automatically and another way is declaring using means let keyword and one more way to create the variable that is by var keyword another way is that by constant keyword so four ways means variables can be created automatically and then next by var keyword by let keyword by constant keyword 
so four ways are there to create variables in javascript okay so in javascript whenever we need to create variables we need to follow the syntax syntax is what set of rules to write the program set of rules okay whenever we are writing code so we need to follow some rules that rule is called syntax here i as i told you that there are four ways to create variables one is the automatically another one is by using of keywords keyword is let var constant keyword that is called declaration of key by declare declaring of keyword so if i don't want to declare with the keywords that moment it is called undeclaring okay means automatically without any declaring of any keywords so let us see here x y they are the variables but declared variables declared means they have been declared with var keyword let keyword next x is equal to 5 y is equal to 6 here these are called variables but undeclared variables undeclared variables no here i have not used any keywords like var let so let z let z here i have declared a variable z with let okay so simply if x is equal to 5 x is a variable assigned with value 5 y is equal to 6 means 6 is a value assigned to variable y here e is equal to sign used an operator as an operator to assign a value so z is a variable let z is equal to x plus 1 so here where let are two keywords as i told you that one more keyword constant will also be used to declare the variables we will we will discuss later what is the difference between all these key keywords where let and constant c o n s t constant okay so so there are javascript syntax as i told you that syntax is what the way the rules by that how can we write the code okay we need to follow the rules to write a code in javascript not only javascript any language c c plus plus python java in any language we need to follow some rule set of rules to write the code okay if we violate that rules there will be a error there will be an error so here javascript syntax it defines two types of values javascript syntax two types it defines two types of values one is that fixed values fixed values are called literals variable values called variables so as i told you that javascript syntax supports two types of values one is that fixed values they are called fixed values they are called literals normally generally values means all the values we assign for the variables by is equal to operator they are called literals okay all that value uh, values fixed values variable values fixed values are called here literals and variable values are called variables okay so let us try to understand the syntax rules for fixed values what are the syntax rules while you are writing the code okay for fixed values fixed values they are called literals so what are the syntax rules let us try to understand so syntax rules are that while you are assigning values fixed values as 
literals okay there are two two ways number uh, there are two there are two ways one is that assigning integer values means here float and integer are called as numbers okay so numbers can be written as whole numbers negative and positive whole numbers otherwise with decimal values negative and positive decimal values okay like 10.5 is a float means uh, decimal value float or floating point uh, floating point otherwise uh, it is also called decimal value 1001 it is called a integer okay so let us click here let us try to understand the code how c here in javascript as i told you that a javascript code will be inserted in tags script tags okay so in html code in html code your javascript code will be inserted in script tags let us see first of all this is doc type exclamation exclamation doc type html this is the declaration of the html5 in the previous uh, html classes i have briefed that then after html start tag then body start tag header h2 is a header javascript numbers are the text otherwise content kept inside of header start tag header close tag forward slash h2 means it is the end tag every tag will be i told you that every tag will be ended with a forward slash okay and p is what i told you that p element starts with start tag p element h2 is called everything is element here h2 is called element of header element started with start tag p element started with start tag and p element closed with paragraph tag forward slash p understood that inside of p element start tag p element paragraph p means paragraph element close tag number can be written with the decimals this is the text anything here you can keep anything you if you want to change the text na so the text whatever you want to keep you want to see at that in display here see you can keep anything this is the text whatever as a paragraph if you want to see you you want to write anything here uh, india is my india is my india is my country if you want to if you you want to see you want to see this text you want to see this text on your screen okay so whatever the text you want to see on the screen as a paragraph under paragraph so the text you need to keep in in between of your paragraph elements paragraph element paragraph every element has a start tag and end tag end tag i told you that start uh, start tag uh, it has no any forward slash start tag started with h2 p body html these are called start tags okay now here this is the header element everything is all this code is html code now as i told you that script script is a tag here inside of script script element started with script uh, start tag ended with script close tag so inside of the the script tags your javascript code will be inserted here so see initially i told you that one method which is the very important javascript html method that is dot get element by id method okay so that element by id method that will be used in scripts 
so here the document dot means our document is equal to html document dot the method get element by id okay so here l is equal 10.50 l is a variable created 10.0 undeclared variable undeclared i told you that variable can be declared in uh, four ways one is that automatically and uh, another way is by using keywords like uh, let var constant okay and script closed body closed html closed so now what happened here this the display on the screen javascript numbers so javascript numbers otherwise if you want to change this as only numbers okay now run this code numbers india is my country 10.5 if you change this l as you can change this l as any any variable name you can keep anything it doesn't matter okay because also that is what undeclared variable so that moment uh, we were discussing about we were discussing about uh, javascript code that will be written in script uh, start tag and end tag so to access any html element one html um, method will be used by javascript okay means to access any html element javascript will use a method that is called document or get element by id so id is a attribute here which defines the html element okay inner html is a property that property will be used to access the content please try to understand content and element is different content is what the matter what javascript numbers it is a content it is a paragraph con sorry uh, header content number can be written with or without decimals number uh, can be written with or without decimal it is a content but it is the content under the paragraph under the paragraph see ki under the p p means number can be written with or without decimals under the paragraph javascript numbers it is a content of content of h this paragraph h2 body html these are all what elements html elements okay so javascript numbers is a content written in h2 header section okay so it is a content to access a content content is which content html content to access a content one property will be used that is called inner html okay that inner html property is used okay to access the content html content here content is what so id is an attribute of method get element by id dot get element but id is a method used by javascript inside of script tags to access html element okay inner html is a property which will be used to access the html content okay now that content is what html content that is 10.5 understood if you change the content value here in the, in this code if you change see if you change this code somewhat like this dot okay so so now if 
you run this code if you run this code so you will get this number 6788.3 this is the decimal number okay now the decimal number is called a content html content that is assigned to a attribute that is inner html attribute okay to access the content the content is part of a html element that element id c that element id is equal to demo okay this demo you can change you can change your name my you can keep your name id is equal we need to keep an id was so that moment if i define the id id is i told you that id is an attribute which will be used to access the html element so that id attribute is assigned with wasu so now inside of this method dot get element by id you need to keep same you need to use that wasu understood that now come down here now run this code what you are getting you are getting the same thing there's no any error okay if you change this value to some word like change this value 6. Point, only 6.999 6.99 understood that so come here now we are here so under the javascript literals literals means the values assigned to assigned to variables otherwise variables i told you that variables are the memory locations to store the memory locations to store the data okay next strings in javascript strings can be stored either in single quotation marks otherwise double quotation marks strings we have discussed about the numbers two numbers in javascript one is that integers another one is integer means both the negative and positive whole numbers <coughs> without any decimal point and that uh, the numbers which are with decimal values decimal values so if we try this code see what happen here as i have discussed john do is a string john do is a string here john do declared in sing john do is a string declared in single quotation marks you are seeing john do here you change this string by keeping of double quotation marks if you have started with the double quotation marks okay you need to end with double quotation marks and then in in place of this john do you change any another okay any another uh, string value right, like a text okay how are you okay this is a text you have kept <coughs> inside of this uh, html inner html inner as it were inner html is a property for that property we whatever the value assigned that will be displayed to access the html content inner html property will be used to access the html element get element by id method will be used id is an uh, attribute use uh, id is an attribute to use to access the html <laughs> element <coughs> okay not right <coughs> so
so how are you is a string now uh, that string kept inside of uh, double quotation and single quotation marks whenever you run this how are you you can see this so in javascript what happens strings they are text text uh, looking text okay either one uh, word paragraph sentence whatever so they can be written inside of uh, double quotation or single quotation marks okay <clears throat> so we will understand that later whatever the okay, i think uh, i will discuss separately about the javascript variables uh, with where let and uh, constant keywords to declare the variables uh, i will uh, discuss separately how to declare the variables uh, undeclared variables and declared variables okay in separate next class